DARPA – Future Robots and Technologies for Advanced U.S. Research Management Robots have become an essential element of our everyday life. There are numerous adorable tiny robots all around us who make our lives so much easier. But what if these helpful robots start killing people? DARPA is working on several projects that have the potential to kill humans. Let us look at a few such robots in this video. Hello everyone! Welcome back to the channel! Hit the like and subscribe button to turn our wish into reality. And don't forget to press the tiny little bell icon to never miss an update from us. With that being said, let's get started. Boston Dynamics' Alpha Dog Boston Dynamics is well known for producing scary robotic creations. This was provided to assist the US Army in wars and training exercises. It was utilized during a training exercise in Hawaii. The naval team that conducted the training exercise claims that the Alpha Dog can reach places that people cannot. This was created to convey things for soldiers and scout regions that were inaccessible to humans. However, this isn't as terrifying as the first item on this list. So we'll simply put this in the risky category and go on to the insane ones. The Falcon Project is next on the list. DARPA, not Musk, is the source of the story. DARPA's Falcon Project, a cooperative initiative with the US Air Force, was unveiled in 2003. The goal of the project was to create a reusable, unmanned, rapid-strike hypersonic vehicle. The hypersonic technology vehicle 2, HTV-2 prototype flew for the first time in April 2010. And again in August 2011. The hypersonic arrow-shaped drone flew at Mach 20, approximately 20 times the speed of sound. More than 22 times faster than commercial jetliners. Surface temperatures on the vehicle hit 3,500 degrees Fahrenheit, 1,930 degrees Celsius throughout the flight, which is hotter than a blast furnace capable of melting steel. So many, this flight won't take humans to Mars, but it can sure kill humans. We've all seen the Transformers movie and are fascinated by changing robots. DARPA, on the other hand, is working hard to make this a reality. This is the third item on the list. Consider an armed Optimus Prime. This is the driving force behind DARPA's Transformer project, which aims to create a flying armored automobile. The four-person vehicle will be able to drive normally as well as fly into the air to dodge roadblocks or other risks on the ground. The vehicle will be able to fly up to 250 nautical miles on a single tank of fuel and will be able to take off and land from a vertical position. These flying tanks might even eventually be utilized for attacks, raids, operations, medical evacuation and supply missions. So the movie is becoming real after all and humans have to remember the fact that these things can get more and more dangerous. The pet proto comes in fourth place on the list. Because this robot can climb, leap and balance itself, it is virtually the end game for humans. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency funded the creation of this robot. It can balance itself and traverse in narrow areas to scout enemy lines. During wartime, this will be a game changer. It has a decision-making process to assist it to make better decisions. This technology will be employed in military activities like reconnaissance and other duties. Who knows what this robot will be capable of if it is upgraded and modified in the future. If you've seen the film Chappie, you'll know that Chappie is a lovely and kind robot. But what happens when this adorable little robot is armed and deployed in battle? At last, a Chappie-like robot is next on the list. On July 11, 2013, DARPA's Atlas project was exposed to the public. The bipedal humanoid robot is 6 feet, 1.8 meter tall, and is meant to help with a variety of emergency services, including search and rescue operations. According to authorities, the US Department of Defense is not interested in using the Atlas robot in combat circumstances. Atlas was created by Boston Dynamics and is based on some of the company's previous robot projects. Looks like Boston Dynamics is planning on ending the human race in the name of development. Or maybe they are only working on the development of the human race. We will never know. Another Boston Dynamics innovation that will be the sixth on this list, it was created as a more refined version of the Alpha Dog. It is a four-legged dog-like robot that serves the same purpose as the Alpha Dog. It is used to carry weights and was financed by the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency. This was created in 2005 to help soldiers navigate challenging terrain when vehicle travel is not feasible. These can carry soldiers in such situations, allowing them to reach areas they would not otherwise be able to access. But imagine you're traveling down a steep mountainside and the robot suddenly stops operating. Every soldier's greatest dread has come true. In addition, the huge dog has a laser gyroscope and stereo vision. Reusable space rockets have been a goal of the human race for a few years now, with Elon Musk's SpaceX leading the charge. The seventh on the list is a similar technology. However, DARPA is also working on similar technology in secret. The Boeing-built X-37 reusable space aircraft began as a NASA project in 1999, but was passed to DARPA in 2004, before being taken over by the Air Force two years later. 
This is still under development as advancements are being made to this tech. The unmanned X-37 orbital test vehicle, which looks like a miniature replica of the space shuttle, launches into orbit atop a rocket and returns to Earth as a space aircraft. In April 2010, the X-37 embarked on its maiden orbital mission. This will aid human progress in combat. Consider the idea that your brain might communicate with external equipment, such as a thought-controlled mechanical limb or a gadget that restores sight. Researchers at DARPA are looking at possible communication channels between the human brain and technology to develop, aid, enhance, or restore human cognitive or sensory motor functions. DARPA researchers are working on neuroprosthetics, which aims to restore impaired sight, hearing, and mobility. And research on these so-called brain-machine interfaces began in the 1970s. Proto2, a thought-controlled prosthetic arm, is one of DARPA's brain-machine interface projects. Proto2 is made up of a dexterous hand and fingers that can move in 25 different directions. This is said to help humans cure diseases that cannot be cured by medicines. This will be a game-changer for the human race. This is the 8th entry on the list. Coming to the ninth item on the list are Wildcat and Big Dog. Don't we all adore cats and dogs? Many of us keep them as pets, but what if these pets are capable of murdering you? It's scary, to be sure. However, we are on the verge of making this a reality. Wildcat and Big Dog are four-legged, headless robots meant to walk, sprint, and carry large cargo over potentially hazardous terrain in the same way as deployed troops do. Boston Dynamics was given contracts by DARPA to develop Wildcat and Big Dog for military usage. Big Dog measures 3 feet in length and stands 2.5 feet tall. The robot, which is about the size of a small mule, can tote 400 pounds of stuff and handle challenging terrain and inclines of up to 35 degrees. Wildcat, on the other hand, is faster and more agile. The robot, which can run at speeds of up to 16 miles per hour, 25 kilometers per hour, on flat areas, is part of a DARPA project to build robots that can help human soldiers on a range of ground operations. The last and final item on the list is Excalibur. War creates a lot of harm, especially when a lot of soldiers are slain. DARPA is developing laser weapons that are compact and efficient enough to be employed in combat to limit the amount of collateral damage in conflict, particularly during engagements waged in urban areas. According to DARPA officials, these experimental laser weapons will be 10 times lighter than the current high-power laser system. The lasers, which were built for aeroplanes, might also be utilized for laser communications, target marking, and aerial self-protection, according to agency officials. Although there are a lot of robots on this list that are capable of killing humans, it is safe to say that they don't have the intelligence to do so. At least, for now. We will have to wait and see what happens in the future. Comment and let us know which robot surprised you the most. That's all for this video. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for such interesting topics. Catch you in the next video. Until then, peace.